what's up you checking out the peeping flyer and i just had the urge to fly my hubson h501a today and i got the advanced transmitter out here so i decided to bring you guys along for this Oh, I got it turned on. And the Hubson H501A actually does Wi-Fi FPV with your phone as well, guys. And so I didn't have my battery plugged into my transmitter. And so as a result, it went to the Wi-Fi signal. So I plug my battery in. my transmitter let's try this again plug this guy in shoot it down okay I forgot I gotta calibrate this thing by spinning around the craft this way and then do it this way now it's trying to connect the GPS signal sit it down Actually, we're going to sit it over here on this little H over here somebody drew, or an I, whatever it is. <laughs> Make that the home position there. Even though I don't think I'm going to fly it in GPS mode much, I wanted to fly it in manual mode. Looking for some faster fun. Got four satellites. Got to wait for this guy to uh, connect to the satellites. It has eight satellites already, but the transmitter itself doesn't have any satellites. So I'm just going to wait a little while. Kind of cold out here. A little bit of a breeze blowing as well. I have ten satellites on the craft. Two satellites on the transmitter. In my opinion, the H501A is the best Hubson in this series here because it does Wi-Fi FPV with your phone. It comes with that repeater thing or whatever that boosts the signal. And it also works with 5.8 gigahertz. As you can see, I have it hooked up to this advanced transmitter. And so it's flying on the classic Hubson protocol so you can fly it with a uh, deviation or multi-protocol transmitter. Man, this transmitter is taking long to pick up on GPS signals. It only, okay, it just jumped to four as I was speaking, but it was on two. Six should be enough to record the home position accurately. And so I'm just waiting on it to reach six. Still on four, man. <laughs> I do have an SD card in here, so I might try to take some video. And we're still at four GPS satellites. Okay, we're at five. One more, guys. <laughs> and we're going to take this guy up. Sheesh. Okay, we're at six. So let's see, we're in GPS mode now.
and she's locked in position. Check her out. I have the self-centering removed off throttle. So let's see, I'm gonna uh, try and hit the uh, record button. If I can remember which one of these buttons start the recording. <laughs> let's see. Okay, I think I'm recording now. No, it actually wasn't. Let's see. Which one of these buttons? <laughs> there's no, there's just an A switch and a B switch. I can't remember which one does which. Oops, I put it on follow mode. Okay, I turned follow mode off. And let's see. It took a photo when I hit the exit button. So I'm guessing if I hold it down, it should take a video. Okay, the video is starting. So let's go up. The inner button on this thing starts the video. I can't see the timer going down. Okay, it's recording video now. Let's pan. Take it up a little higher. If we can get a better sight up there, and let's pan up there. Okay, let's bring them down and get this guy in some manual mode. <laughs> So I can have my fun, you guys are having your fun <laughs> with this video capture stuff. So you have to land this thing before you can switch it to uh, manual mode. So now I have to hold enter. Go down to manual mode, hit enter to turn it on, hold down the X button. So now I have to turn GPS mode off. And there you go. So when you're in manual mode, you can switch back and forth to GPS mode. This is the yaw rate on this guy, very slow yaw rate. But she's a camera bird, so <laughs> can't fault her too much. Now I have a white Hudson H501S that I I had I received it from Hudson. And I used to be helping Hubson with the uh, um, programming and all, like the rates and everything, giving them suggestions and everything, helping them. And as a result, my white one has a faster yaw rate. <laughs> I was always telling Hubson to uh, speed up the yaw rate on these things, and they gave me uh, a few different programs that had faster yaw rates and not just for the Hubson H501S but for the smaller micro as well and they ended up giving me a smaller micro with a speedy yaw rate 
really nice flyer. But I never got the chance to get them to speed up the yard rate on this one before we severed our relationship. <laughs> so now this, as a result, this guy has a slower yard rate, man. In the firmware that's used in the H501S is not compatible with this H501A. So, and the pitch is deeper on the white one as well. I was trying to get them to give us more pitch and more yaw speed. I'm always an advocate for a deeper pitch. And so I'm kind of afraid to try those uh, tricks that I'll be doing with the white version that I have, the H501S. I do manual flips with it and all, but this one, <laughs> I probably can pull off some manual flips with it, but I'm not that confident in doing them, especially on the concrete here. And the accelerometer on this guy is a little different, it seems like, too. The programming, anyway, if you're doing too much uh, yanking and banking and uh, doing a lot of crazy movements with it, the gyro seems to act a little funny. It'll develop a lean, a bit of a drift. And so that's, it's not so much in the white one that I have, but this one still have those characteristics. And so it's just a, a better camera bird than the other one because it does have an improved camera. But the other one, it can be yanking and banking better. And it's a little faster than this one because of the pitch. See, this is full pitch here on manual mode. <laughs> so it's pretty slow. I was thinking about that. I was watching an older video of some guy. He was comparing the H501S and the uh, Bugs 2. And he was saying that the Bugs 2 was faster, a lot faster than the H501S. And I was wondering, like, what is he talking about? The H501S is faster than the Bugs 2. <laughs> but then I realized that I had that one with different firmware in it. So that's why mine's is faster. This one here is slow. So yeah, the Bugs 2 is slower. Well, the Bugs 2C is faster than this H501A by far. <laughs> Especially with deviation. Now, I'm not sure if I connect this to deviation if it's going to give it a deeper pitch, but I know with it the stock transmitters from Hubson, this thing doesn't have a deep pitch. And it's on the expert setting too. Well, I'm not gonna fly this guy too long. Let me bring him in for a landing. Look at this, man. Hubson, you guys gotta get on this yard rate, man. <laughs> If you're still doing development for this thing, give us a faster yaw rate and give us a deeper pitch, man. <laughs> the Hubson H501A. Thanks for watching.